Yo, what's going on guys? It's been a little while since the last time I recorded a video. As you may have noticed, I did not post a Nightmare 100 solo. That's purely because the fact that I kind of procrastinated DW and ended up having to farm everything for CFA 5 star at the very last two days. So that took up pretty much all my time. Like on the last day of DW, I had to play like 16 hours nonstop. It was awful. Didn't enjoy it. <laughs> but that's what happens when you try to farm everything in one day. So rip. <laughs> also, the top 20K was really high. So I had to farm that as well. It was not a very fun day. Do tell me what did you get during GW, your ranking, and uh, how did you go? Personally, my crew went 4-1. Um, we ran into a really top tier uh, JP crew, and I didn't feel like fighting, so rip that. Rip that 5-0, maybe next time. The GW was a lot harder than the other ones we had, so kind of sucks, but hey, it's whatever. Anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about. Today, I am here to talk about my surprise ticket character, which is Vayne. Yes, I surprise ticketed a dude. Actually, I surprise ticketed a character. It's been a long time since I surprise ticketed a character. So, it's been like at least like two or three surprise tickets. I've been surprise ticketing summons left and right. So, this is my first time try surprise ticketing a character, let alone a guy. But with that, that happy smile of his, I did surprise ticket him purely for Ultimate Bahamut High Level. Though today I will not be doing a video on Ultimate Bahamut High Level. This would be a normal solo video. I do plan on doing a Ultimate Bahamut High Level team um, in the future. So do look out for that if you're into seeing your vein in Ultimate Bahamut High Level. Anyway, let's get to his stats. Okay, so... Fane is a human defense, and he specializes in spear, even though he runs axe, uh, side games, fix your game. Yes, if you probably have noticed by now, Vayne does carry an axe, and his specialty is a spear. Makes no sense, but okay, cool. <laughs> his ogi is a boost to defense, which is okay. It's not anything amazing. It's... Not pretty much what you're using him for, but it is okay when he gets to lower HP amount. He gets the boost to defense, so he doesn't instantly die from one hit, even though his passive also helps that as well. His first um, skill is a water nuke. Does about 600k. Nothing amazing, though it does hit to attack and hits to fire attack. So if you combine both of those together, it can cap um, attack down, so keep that in mind, on a fire enemy, though if an enemy is not fire, you only get the hit to attack, so, breakthrough is pretty much the new skill he has, oh, well, it's an old skill that got buffed recently, um, now it gives a big boost to attack based on, on how low HP is, also, it gives a boost to hostility, it's stackable, so keep that in mind, that the more you hit this skill throughout a fight, it would just keep constantly be stacked on. Um, and it uses 40% of your HP bar. So, yeah. It lasts um, through eight turns, and the cooldown is three turns. So it pretty much has infinite uptime. So you'll always have this boost on throughout the whole fight. Now, Soul Eruption, which is his big skill. Restores all his HP to full, so it's an instant heal, which is really good. And removes all debuffs he has, so if he has any debuffs, instantly remove them all. Also, it gives him a sharp boost to stats, which includes attack, multi-attack rate, defense, um, and his cap. So also his cap gets a huge increase, and you'll see that. He starts to, the, he starts to hit really, really hard. <laughs> Now, it had a 15 turn cooldown and a 5 turns up time, so pretty good. Also, it can be extended by Quattro if you use him. So, that 5 turns turns to 6, and if you get a reset on him, turns 7 turns. It can get a little bit crazy, so. 
Now, his passive kill, his passive skill is um, a lethal passive skill similar to Uno, Catalina. Characters like that have the same passive skill. So when they're about to get knocked out, it'll just drop them to one HP instead of knocking them out. Though if you have like burn or something, you instantly die. Nothing new. You can tell that I have not slimed him yet. So for this video, they will, he will be at zero Zeniths. But when I do Ultimate Bahamut high level, he will be at his max. But if I was to max him out, these are the Zeniths I would run. You can see right here on the side. Though if you add those together, you only get 17. Um, I honestly didn't find a place to put the last point. I haven't figured it out yet. So you can put it anywhere you feel that you think is the best option. I have yet to find one. Anyways, let's get to a battle with him. So I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but Breakthrough only works its vein in red HP bar. I don't think I mentioned that, so I'm mentioning it now. Though with Breakthrough, uh, with his skill two, it's easy to get him there, so it shouldn't be that hard. Actually, I should probably cap the fence down now here. Also, I brought his best friend Lancelot. I couldn't um, not bring him. Also, I'm using the moon here to um, boost my damage cap. Okay. So. It is cute that they talk in battle. <laughs> I definitely love bringing characters like this just for the uh, the lore, I guess. As you can see, their vein does okay damage, even though the Fenrir bows don't really help them out at this point in his health bar. Um, technically, I can heal him right now a little bit. It's not going to change much, but it, it'll increase the damage a little bit. I don't have quad trade because I didn't feel like bringing the five star DW characters. I always use them a lot, so. Okay, so now we can get to his. Um, actually, no, we don't. Look, he needs to. He needs to take a little bit more damage. So me healing him was just a little bit too much. So maybe with hostility up, he. There we go. He took enough. Okay, now he becomes a monster. <laughs> the cat start hitting like a tank. 800k autos. I mean, 900k autos almost. Pretty insane how much he changes off that one skill. I'll have a link to his character in the wiki if you want to know how much stats he actually gets. But it's kind of insane. If only he did more than double attack, that'd be nice. Uh, good to be Ogi here. Am I think I'm gonna call the moon. Okay. So now you can see his really high Ogi. I'm running the Ogi cap increase on my weapon, my Ultima, so. Five million, pretty high. Though the one problem with Vayne I'll mention is that he, after he lets his load go, he pretty much doesn't do anything for the next like 10 turns. So his buff is gonna be here for one more turn, I believe, right here. So after that, Vayne's pretty much done. <laughs> so in very long fights, um, he, he's gonna have a downtime. Okay, so this is gonna be annoying. 
Since I don't have Quatre, I don't have gravity, so kind of sucks. Though I did bring clear, it's in case. Oh, if I don't get put to sleep. There's not many character dodge. No, I hate this boss. Time to get infinite looped. <laughs> if anybody ever um, did a first time soloing this boss, you know how it feels to be infinitely looped by this boss. It's so annoying. Because he can instantly keep you in sleep if you don't. If she does not hit your main character. Hopefully that does not happen to me this time though. It's one of my biggest problems with playing water against this boss is that, you know, since it changes its element, you lose a lot of damage if you're running like a free to play pool. Um, Varna. Because people use the Auberons. Problem with the Auberons is that they get a small attack up and crit. So if you can't crit, a lot of your damage goes away. And you end up being in the type of situation that I'm, I'm in right now. So we need five turns before his next time he can use skill three. So I don't think the boss is going to live long enough. Could be wrong though. So personally, I'd rather the boss not live that long. I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal him here. Uh, oh, you can see Lancelot's skill 3 gets some of his bonus damage, but it's not that big of a deal. Please don't put me to sleep again. Ah, oh, this boss. <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> Hey, look, she's doing it. She's doing it again. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm actually gonna use um breakthrough now. As you don't know, man, yeah, we're not gonna break it or anything. So you're gonna have to pray, pray. I hate this part of the boss. <laughs> this boss will always give me a headache every time I fight it. Okay. We can't really do much in this situation, but we can Ogi, I guess. But other than that, we really can't do much. Chilling nightmare. Oh man, I'm cold. <laughs> this is truly a nightmare. <laughs> Alright, so we have one turn to clear. So after this, we we can have Vayne go off on it, so we'll be fine. Alright, there we go. Actually, I don't think he had enough health. Actually, yeah. See, look, he didn't have enough health, so we got to use um, a blue pot and then. Use the skill again. He still need to take a little bit more damage though. Cause that blue pot gives you 40% of your health back. And um skill two takes away 40%. So you can see this gonna be an issue sometimes where you're just you're a little bit above the threshold to use the skill three. But right now we're fine. He definitely like a burst character, so 
I love watching the 800k autos. <laughs> Wait, he put me to sleep again? Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> I got scared for a second. Anyway, that's vain. Skill 3 is pretty nutty in terms of the damage burst that it gives him. Though, so after that, you can see that <laughs> vain doesn't really do much. So, keep that in mind. If you have any questions or anything about vain and, let's say... How to optimize them, I guess. Um, leave a comment. If you have a specific team you want me to run for you, you Baja high level, type it in the comments, and I will run. I will see the most popular team and run that team using Vayne. So Vayne has to be in the team. So thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you guys next time, and peace out.